What's the name of the penguin? No guy. <laughs> <laughs> High five. You can. <laughs> Tell us about your tradition tradition for opening Christmas presents. Definitely you go first on this one. Okay. I used to live in the Philippines and we've kept the tradition where uh, Christmas Eve, we would get the entire family get together with a Christmas feast, have all your presents ready, and when it hits midnight, then the party starts. So then we like spend two to four hours unwrapping presents, thanking everyone, um, and just celebrating that day, and then then head home and go to bed. That sounds cool. We might have a problem because we have a very similar traditions, mm -hmm. but I can make some little adjustments because, you know... It Not on my behalf, don't do that. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it evolved with time because, you know, when we were yeah. little, Santa used to came, you know, mm -hmm. and bring us the presents, so we were waiting, and he knocked on the door, you know, in Italy he knocks on the door and like, mm -hmm. doesn't come from the chimneys or whatever, and he, he was there with his big belly and the costume and everything, and he gave us presents, so we were waiting for that. And then uh, when we were you know, growing up, then we we're no small kids anymore in the family. We were still young, so we didn't want to be too late. So it was just right after Christmas. So we get together for uh, for a dinner, mm -hmm. and uh, with big part of the family, like at least 14, 15, 16 people. Yeah. That was the minimum. And then we eat, had dinner together, and then after dinner, we would open the presents. Usually, Jesus for us was born around 9 p.m. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice time <laughs> you didn't want to Yes. <laughs> So we would be all in procession and put baby Jesus and then we open the presents and then the little ones went to bed. Mm -hmm. uh, but as soon as we get more adult, we wait for midnight. So it's kind of similar. Mm. To you.